Hey, welcome to Dr. Pat TV. We are doing functions and models, and now we're just going to do a few word problems, nothing major. Just just getting the, those business examples coming from the words. <clears throat> okay, so here's a little uh, problem that we have. We got total cost in dollars to produce Q math books. So Q is the quantity. Uh, is TC equals 22.5 Q plus 75,000? So we got some few questions here. What are the fixed costs when we're using this formula? You may recall for the uh, formula for total cost, it's variable cost plus fixed cost. This 75,000 has nothing to do with Q. Uh, doesn't matter how many uh, books we produce, the 75,000 is our fixed cost. What's the marginal cost uh, per book? And so when we're looking at this graph, that's uh, this is a linear situation. And so the slope of a line is the marginal cost. So we're looking at 2250 per book. So that would be the marginal cost there. And then what's the total cost for producing 2000 books? Well, basically all we're doing is for our quantity is 2000. We plug our 2000 into the function, calculate that all out, and I get 120,000. So just take 2000 in there, crunch it out. Hopefully we'll get 120,000 like I did. Then the next question is, what's the average cost per book? What do we produce? 2,000. Well, average cost is total cost divided by the quantity. So cost over quantity, that's your average cost. And so we've got a total cost of 120,000. We divide that by 2,000 and we get an average cost of $60 per book. So those are just some straightforward business examples and a nice, easy, linear total cost function. So a couple more problems here. These are two different ones. So let's look at the first one. Suppose an item has a fixed cost of 15,000 and a marginal cost per item of 1250. If the item sells for 25, what is the break even point? And so whenever doing a word problem, one of the first things you want to do is just kind of highlight the key concepts, the key pieces of information. Um, a lot of words in a problem, most of the words useless, but here's what we've got here. We've got a fixed cost of 15000 We've got a marginal cost of 1250 This 25 right here is our price, and we're, we're looking for break even. <clears throat> okay, so... That's my information. My strategy here is this. I'm seeing break even and I'm seeing information about price and cost. So I'm thinking for break even, let's make the equation revenue equals cost and then we can solve that to find the break even point. And so, <clears throat> oh, that's my quantity. I get an answer of 1200. Where did I get this answer? Is when I made my cost function. I've got a fixed cost of 15,000. I've got a marginal cost of 1250. So this is my cost formula over here on the left hand side. On my right hand side, I got 25Q. Price times quantity is revenue. So I've got revenue equals cost. That's what we do to find break even. And then let's do some algebra. Subtract both sides by 1250Q. And then divide by, let's see, when we subtract that, we're going to get 1250Q on the other side. Divide by 1250, and that's where I'm getting this 1200. So our break even, 1200. So we want to produce more than 1200, produce and sell more than 1200, and then we'll start making a profit. So before that, if I only had a, like if I'm negotiating and I can only get sales of a thousand books, oh, I have to think about that because uh, I wouldn't be able to uh, make any profit off of that. So that's how we could use that information. And then this second problem here on this slide. The information that I'm seeing is uh, we've got, uh, when I have 10,000 items, my cost is 547,500. And then when I'm producing 50,000 of those things, my cost is 737,500. And so what's my question asking for? It's asking for the marginal cost. And I remember marginal cost is slope. Okay, and we're assuming a linear relationship here. So I, I have this information here, two data points. I've got a quantity, I've got a cost, and quantity and a cost. And so I want to calculate slope. Remember, slope is change of cost over the change in quantity. When you do that, uh, you're going to get a value of 475 per unit and that's our marginal cost so if I graph this it would be a line and it would have a slope of 475 okay just remember that it's the change in 
uh, cost. So that's seven hundred and thirty-seven five minus the five hundred forty-seven five, and then over fifty thousand minus ten thousand, and then just calculate that out. Thanks. I hope this was helpful. Talk to you later.